everybody! We're continuing our water marbling journey today with the flower technique. But first, if you're new here or you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications when new videos go live. Thanks! As with all water marbling projects, you should have a clean, flat, water-friendly workspace with all of your tools and supplies on hand. Let's get started! First, we'll create our Gelgit background. Choose a base color to build as the foundation of your design. With your next colors, we're going to add a stone pattern. Use a marbling stick to create your Gilgit. What the heck is a Gilgit? And how do you make a stone pattern? Our water marbling techniques video teaches you the four foundation patterns of water marbling. From there, you can create unlimited designs and advanced patterns like the flower technique we're learning in this video. Click the link in the description below. Now back to the fun. Once you have a background you love, start building your flowers. Apply a stone pattern with your first color. Keep adding colors to layer the stones. Where can you find DecoArt water marbling supplies? Shop.decoart.com has everything you need. Click the link in the description below. Now we're getting to the good stuff. These stones are layered up and looking great. Grab your marbling stick and with the tip, pull from the outside edge of the stone to the center and lift to make your petal. Repeat all the way around the edges of the stone for as few or as many petals as you prefer. To add a cinder to our blooms, squeeze a small amount of DecoArt water marbling acrylic onto a palette surface. Dip the tip of a water marbling stick into the paint and then dip the stick into the center of your flower to add the finishing touch. It's time to pull a print! Do you like the multi-flower prints or the single large flower designs? Let us know in the comments below. We can't wait to see all the fun and funky florals you create. 